all tower troops receiving reports of a large stockpile of supplies from this can't be right a, a, a large stockpile of supplies from the reserve the whole thing is wild to blow we'll smoke her out your lazy oh. shit heel attitude has cost us even more supplies heavy reclaimed presence looting national guard cash bravo company sustained severe casualties backup requested Savages have the presence of mind to walk off with the key to this cash. Got his legs blown off for the trouble. Shelter in the school to avoid our wrath. Oh, suckling pigs. Their screams will warn me. This time, lock it down before the Taurus gets there. be down the tourist in the flesh oh stories about you been buzzing all over the bayou word is even reached nola <laughs> yeah but if the city is where you're headed well i suspect your story is just beginning here's a friendly warning one lone soul to another. The dead ain't the only thing to be fearing in the Big Easy. Now, there is a war brewing. The tower on one side, looming on the horizon, high and mighty, spouting there all for one ideals and shunning any folks who don't be towing the line. <laughs> Those reclaimed renegades are on the other, making everyone's skin crawl with their horror show tactics. And the powder keg that's gonna make the whole city blow? The reserve. <laughs> I can tell by the spark that jumped up in your eyes that you've heard the legend. Disaster relief supplies. And when the flood to end all floods hit in an old military bunker. Never distributed to the people because the government didn't know its ass from a hole in the ground. And before they could figure it out, the dead started walking. Oh, all that grub, all those meds, hmm, military-grade weapons, and ammo to boot. Untouched. Hidden. <laughs> and guess who's close to unearthing the mother load? That's right. You're looking at him. <laughs> but this broken body has seen better days. And I need to get after it real quick before the fools get wise. So, if you find yourself itching to step out of the bayou and help out an old man, well, you can find me in the cemetery where I'm holed up. There would be a 50-50 split in your future. Ah! <laughs> I ain't greedy, and I ain't no fool. Give it a ponder, tourist. You just might be what this sinking city needs to keep his head above water. But then again, <laughs> maybe you're the type to pull the whole godforsaken place under.
It's me. What happened to you? <laughs> now you show up. Oh, son of a bitch. Both sides. They came down on me. Same time. Slaughter. But I kept my mouth shut. He didn't get shit out of old Henri. Oh, do me a solid. The bus. All I got. All I've done. Don't, don't let it go to waste. I'm begging you, help the kid, huh? Her mom, 5050 still stands, huh? They get mine, understand? They're the only ones who deserve it. The rest? Drown the motherfuckers. Henri, who are you talking about? So long, waterfall. So long, waterfall.
had an inkling, and by God, I was spot on. The reserve, it's out there. It exists. This journal I found proves it. Still, so much work to be done. Stones that gotta be overturned, riddles, and, and frequency 61 has to be connected to the reserve somehow. Command and control, I'm guessing. Uh, that, that's the next step. If I can get this blasted radio repaired, wonder if someone's still inside. As soon as my ankle feels steady, gonna take the skiff to that mansion in the garden district where Niles and I recorded the Tipsy Blue record, The Blue Palace. It's my best shot at finding a microphone for the radio. Power is covered with the bus battery, just got connected, antenna too, got encryption covered, can't afford any eavesdroppers. <sighs> Haven't slept in three days. These creaky bones are rattling with excitement. So close. I can only imagine what might be in there. <laughs> Grub, meds, weapons, ammo. Oh, haul of a lifetime. Set me up for a decade. Could sure use the tourist's help, though. Hell, I'd even be willing to split 40-60 if they make all this easier. <sighs> Hope they show up before it's too late. Getting old.
Please, I need your help. My husband, he's turned. He begged me not to let it happen, but I just couldn't pull the trigger. He was all I had left, but I failed him. I, I am so ashamed. Would you be willing to help me out? I just can't bring... I will put him to rest. You will? Thank you. That is so kind. Here, take this key. I locked Reuben in a room. Second floor of the Blue Mansion, just up the street. I noticed your watch. Looks like you've got the alarm in sync with the chiming bells that rile up the walkers every day. Smart. You don't want to be caught out in the open when this place is overrun by the dead. Oh, and um... One last request. Reuben's wedding band. If you could retrieve it, it would mean so much to me. At least I could carry one small token with me. From my children. I have nothing. They're just gone. I never even got to say goodbye.
My dearest Corinne, I lied to you. I am sorry. I had to spare you. A lost hope. Our children died by my hand. I had to set them free to protect them from a fate worse than death. I know you will never be able to forgive me, but maybe one day you will understand that I had no choice. They did not suffer. Take comfort in that, my love. Reuben. Is it over? I recovered the ring. Thank you. This means the world to me. The only reminder of life before all of this. Ruben was a good husband and an amazing father.
Hold on to the good memories. They will keep you sane. I will. Here is the code to the safe, as promised. I hope that whatever's inside will prove useful. Safe journey. <laughs>